Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Mohammed Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about duplicate columns in Power BI using Power Query Editor and its uses. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Duplicate column in Power BI has lots of uses for that. So we'll walk through in detail about this video. For that, this is a Power BI file. You need to go to home and then transform data. It will open up the Power Query editor. And this is my inventory purchase and sales table. Here I have the purchase information, sales information, everything in detail here. We'll go to text and date and then the integer for the duplicate columns one by one. First of all, we'll go with the text. Here, this is a partner. This is a text column here. If you want to make a duplicate column, you have two options here. Right click on that column and then click on duplicate column. Or else you can go to add column and then duplicate column. To click on that, it will apply a new step as duplicate column and a new column will create at the last partner hyphen copy. The advantage of duplicate column is you can do whatever you can in this duplicate column and it will not have any effect on the main column, that is this one. Say for example, I'm just moving it to beside the partner. To get clear understanding of it, so this is a partner and this is a duplicate column. So I will add right click and then I want to replace the values, replacing the value to as this is a case sensitive in row right as it is. I want to change it to sub in short, like this. So if you look at these two columns, it has supply rise and it is sub hyphen as we discussed. So it doesn't have any effect on the customers. Even you can do that. So right click on that and then replace values. You can find the customer. And then I want to replace it with customer. C-U-S-T and then. Okay. So it will replace all the customers to C-U-S-T. Hyphen. Because if you want to use the duplicated column in your visuals you can use this one without affecting the main column so this is for the text cases now let's have a look at the digital and this amount column so you can also do that right click and then duplicate column it will create a copy of it so these are the two columns amount and then amount copy if you want to change it to text you can do the right click on that change type and then this value has been converted to text now let's go to date so this is the year month column here so first of october 2012 you want to copy right click and then duplicate columns and here if you want to change something else you can do that so right click and then transform just want to transform it to only year you can do that it will bring only year or else if you want to transform month you can do that whatever it is you can play with it and it will not have an effect on the main column so this is how you can able to use the duplicate column in power query editor and you can just play with it you can change and customize whatever you can with the duplicate columns and it will not have any effect on the main column so if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video